Hey guys, so we're gonna take lemons and make lemonade here. So the city of Atlanta required that we capture all the rainwater from not only the addition we're doing over here, but also the main house. We're gonna put it in this cistern. And then they also require that we use all of it on site. And as you can see, there's not really a lot of landscaping around here. So we're gonna use this water, we're gonna filter it and use it inside the house. So I've got Joe with Complete Concrete here. He's gonna tell us a little bit about this system right here. So what is this called? This is a cistern, right? It's called a cistern. It's called a rain harvest system. Um, you have two 1,700 gallon tanks. All the gutters are ran to the tank. There's a pump, pumps it back out, goes through a five stage uh, filtration system, and then pumps back into the, the residents to use. Now, th this is obviously a little bit more expensive solution than typically. Usually the city of Atlanta lets you dig a hole, fill it full of gravel, or use some sort of dry well. In this case, this is not a dry well. We're actually, not when you, what is this called, like a wet well? Or is there another um, term for this? I know it's just spray a, water. It's just a closed unit. That way you can recycle it and use it. Got the, it. Uh, the regular cisterns, they just bleed into the ground, kind of like a septic system. But um, this one actually just keeps it all contained and clean. You have filters on every gutter to keep any debris from going into it. And uh, it just pumps right back in. So right here is where the gutter is going to go in. So the water is going to go into this. Now we don't have to clean out and install it quite yet, but then this pipe goes underground and all the way to the cistern. Now we've got multiple pipes going underground and this is PVC and it comes up into this connection point. Now we've got two different cisterns in there, two 1700 gallon tanks that are connected to each other. So this is going to hold a total of 3,400 gallons of water. So with the typical systems, you're, you're really wasting all that water. You're, you're basically putting in the drywall, goes back into the ground. It's nice as replenishing the water table. But in this case, we're in the city of Atlanta. Water is really expensive. This is a good way to save money on, on future operating costs. Yeah, forever. And you can still tap in for irrigation and whatnot if you're not using the full consumption. Um, you can also expand it, make it larger. It's really the only way to not throw away money. Got it. Now this is something new that the city of Atlanta has been requiring us to do. I noticed on every permit, the city, uh, the Department of Watershed is asking us to put a cistern in and also reuse the water. Now a lot of cases we can use it for landscaping. So basically you hook your irrigation up to it, but uh, this is something a little bit new for us. And the city's honestly, they're trying to see how we come up with a solution here so they can recommend this to other, other people in the future. So Joe, I know a lot of people are going to be asking like where to find your contact information. What's the best way to get in touch with you guys? Uh, look at us on uh, completeconcrete.com. Go to our website and get all our information on there. See our service areas and uh, go from there. Now in our case, we're using this. We're going to filter the water, use it inside the house. Now, the reason this makes a lot of sense using for irrigation, when you're paying for water in the city of Atlanta, when you're paying for, you basically, they, they meter it. You've got a meter, water meter coming in. Well, your sewer is also attached to that. So if you're using water for irrigation, and you don't have a separate irrigation meter, you're essentially paying for sewage to irrigate your house. Now in this case, since we're able to collect all the water and use it for landscaping or use it inside the house, we're not paying for the water or the sewage. And again, when you're doing landscaping, that makes a lot of sense to use rainwater for, for landscaping.